so you'll know first. This is First Alert Weather. Well, fall is here, and it's feeling like it. It fell. <laughs> it did fall. Yes. Bam, like yes. really quick, right? It was much needed rain, so that's the good part of the forecast, but man, it's taken a lot to get used to. Just rubbing your hands together, yeah. you're going to be out for chilly, any length chilly. of time. Chilly stuff, and even a little bit more rain showing up on First Alert Live radar. We're going to have another little low sweep down toward us, give us another shot of rainfall, and also keep the temperatures relatively cool. Take a look at First Alert Radar along with me. This is live radar, showing you these showers once again, mainly contained farther to the east and moving away. Still some leftovers, residuals, out toward the 435 loop. That'll be the case for most of the evening hours. Most of us will probably dry out late tonight. The clouds won't leave, but at least the rain showers, what's left of them, will be gone. And as you see here on the horizon, we have a little bit of clearing taking place out to the west. Current temperature is 65 degrees, variable winds fairly light, cloudy skies at the airport. Forecast will still go for those winds continuing out of the north and northeast, and the temperature is dropping slowly but surely about one degree an hour or so. By 11 p.m., we'll be down to 61 and cooler than that by tomorrow morning as we're going to be down into the 50s. Low temps, 54 degrees in Kansas City, but 50 in Hiawatha. Since you have sunshine now, you're going to pay the price and cool down more rapidly since you already have the clear skies. We used to have the clouds locked in closer to 6 degrees down toward Warrensburg, down toward Clinton and Sedalia. Exclusive first alert nine day forecast to show you the big picture. 54 in the morning, afternoon high of 72. And there's that chance of rain that will be moving through toward the afternoon and evening hours. Most of the area will start off on a dry note, but heading into the afternoon, about a 20 or 30 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms popping up. But with the sunshine we have in the first portion of the day, we should see a little more in the way of a warming trend, at least getting into the 70s, which is about where we should be. 74s both Wednesday and Thursday as we dry out. Then another chance of rain moves in on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And we also have to keep an eye on a developing storm system, a hurricane, if it will be. Their chances of rain, some of the remnants could make it all the way up toward the Tennessee Valley and brush farther to the west toward us. And then into early next week, 73 on Monday, another chance of rain comes in on Tuesday and Wednesday with the temperatures fluctuating between the upper 60s and near 70 degrees. Take a look at First Alert Future Scans starting at 1 in the morning. Here you see the rain showers moving in from the northwest. Overhead for the morning drive, fairly light. A better chance of rain and even a couple of thunderstorms a possibility toward the evening hours. Not looking severe, but another chance of rain moving through and some of us could use it. So in summary, more rain tomorrow, drier midweek. Then another chance of rain on the second half of the nine day, more likely toward next week.